So for this video we're going to be talking about company IDENT and we'll be looking at um, our previous IDENT that we had uh, created and used for our AS level and then our thoughts on uh, a company IDENT which we'd hope to create and improve upon for this current A2 uh, and then also just talking about a couple of other different well-known company IDENTs and how um, they can influence uh, our new one. So, do you want to talk about the first one then? With the first side then, it was all about, our theme was horror, our, our genre was horror. So we just used um, blood, moon, and all dark colours to make it linked to horror movies, to make it mm -hmm. feel a bit more scarier. Yeah. And, uh, and allowing that to link to the genre. Yes, yeah, so I think that was a great example. So, as a production company making horror films, it worked perfectly. Mm. But it wouldn't work for an action film as it's a completely different genre and it will reflect the wrong things that we want it to reflect. So, yeah. 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 And I also feel like the style of text, as in the font that we use, uh, helped to really impact um, sort of the feel of the item as well, since it sort of linked in with what we were seeing as yeah, well as what we were reading. Yeah, the of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, especially the fact that we used to play with the colours to make it look more like a blood colour, kind of especially as it was blood moon, mm -hmm. it's kind of has that more of an impact on the audience seeing the company logo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bringing so, out the red as well, because yeah. we used it in the text as well, bringing out the red mm -hmm. and mixing it with the white as well to give it that effect. Yeah. yeah. So for our current sort of design, um, since it's more of an action, well since it is an action film, uh, and we're sort of focusing on fast-paced action rather than all sort of explosions and all different types of weaponry being thrown into it. Um, I've sort of had a rough idea, it's not final, but uh, using an old image of mine with a glass ball uh, and to maybe have the title Reflection Media, but within the first section of the word reflection would be seen as normal, but then as it passes um, through and behind the glass ball, it would be flipped and converted of how you'd see everything else uh, as an image, because with the glass ball, it, um, when you're looking through it, it doesn't, unlike your eye, it doesn't convert um, what you can see to the correct sort of image, yeah. um, so it's all sort of distorted and the other way around. Yeah. which I think will be quite an interesting uh, thing to have, especially if we're going to have sort of a, not mysterious sort of action film, but one that's sort of, you know... Because it's slightly more complex, mm -hmm. having the, the actual ident of the film, making it more complex allows the viewers to see that yeah. the film's going to be not your average yeah. explosion action film. Yeah, and I also feel like that that's something good that we've taken away from our last ident, as, um, as, as we said, uh, the last item really sort of uh, impacted and joined in with the genre as I, I personally think that this new item will hopefully do with our new action film. I think also something we want to look at is the fact that they've both been our own pictures. Mm -hmm. The realism of those pictures is so good and maybe with the variety I found the problem with the old item was the fact that the text looked so kind of computer generated where it wasn't, mm -hmm. so it had a quite a large contrast between the text and the picture. So maybe if we did it more so it, so with Universal's text where it looks so clean and mm -hmm. it looks shiny and realistic so it's not as if it's being computer generated, maybe try and aim for that where we make it look a bit more modern mm -hmm. as such. And it looks like it's, so where you got the picture, it actually looks like it was taken within the picture and it's not just been put over the top. Yeah. So it looks that much more professional as well. I think also one thing to take away from the universal sort of ident is that the fact that no matter how long that it's been around, it always it always feels new. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's always being refreshed. And that's the thing as a modern film that we want to make, we want to keep up that image. Yeah. Yeah. That's good.